Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Nitrix Linux. Newest release, it just came out. It's powered by Debian, KDE Technologies, and QT. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Nitrix Linux. This is a really great distribution. I covered it about three months ago, but like I said, this is the newest release. You come to their homepage, which I'll make sure to include in the description below. It says, hi there, meet Nitrix. It's powered by Debian, KDE Technologies, and QT. And it states Nitrix is a Linux desktop distribution directly based on Debian. It uses the Calamari's installer and includes the NX desktop and the NX firewall on top of the KDE Plasma 5 desktop. But guys, hold on a second. They've also come out with what's called the Maui shell. And I'm going to cover that in this video as well. It is definitely groundbreaking. It basically is going to be able to be used on a tablet, on a phone, on a desktop, or on a laptop. And when I get done covering this distribution, I will go into detail and show you exactly what Maui shell looks like. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to the desktop. And if you download Nitrix, throw it on a USB or open it up into a virtual machine, this is the desktop you are met with. This is the NX desktop on top of the plasma shell. And as you can tell, you've got one panel up top. You've got a dock down on the bottom. If you come up top to the panel, you've got date and time. If you click on that, this will bring down your NX notifications, your Bluetooth, vaults, night color control, KDE Connect. If you're not familiar with KDE Connect, all you got to do is zip on over to the Android store, download the KDE Connect app, put it onto your phone, then you can sync it up with either your desktop or your laptop, and it gives you all kinds of different things that you can do with your phone on your desktop. Then you have clipboard, so let's go ahead and close out of that. Sound, battery level, and internet. Now, if you right-click on the panel, you've got different layouts. You can do NX bottom, NX bottom panel 2, NX top, NX top 2. Now, if you switch that to just the regular panel... It gives you a little smaller panel down at the bottom without your virtual desktops. Or you can come back up and put it where it was. Let's go ahead and put that back. And then you get the same, but then you've got your virtual desktops that you can switch to. So let's go back up and right click. You also can configure your Latte dock. If you click on that, it gives you all kinds of adjustments in here and changes that you can make to your Latte dock. I'm going to go ahead and close back out of that and then back up top. You can quit Latte, you can add widgets. If you want to click on add widgets, it brings up your list of widgets over here. You can go through here, find out what widgets that you like. If you can't find a widget that you like or one you're specifically looking for, you can click on get new widgets, find it, download it, install it. Then you can drag it to the system tray or directly to your desktop. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then of course you can add a dock or panel. And of course you can edit this panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. If you come up top here, you've got your application drop down. If we click on that, it gives you a nice little window right here. You can scroll back and forth between different pages if you've got different pages, but it's only got one. But I'm going to go ahead and drop down to the dock first. Right now, you've got your index, which is your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there is your file manager. Let's go ahead and make it full screen so you can see it. Okay, we are now full screen. As you can see, it's a very good looking file manager. You've got your usual suspects over here. Trash, Network, Nitrix, and of course you can set up your favorites, you can tag them, you can go to home, which is your home folders are right there. That right there is desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, and then of course videos. But this is a nice little file manager, lets you get things done, kind of stays out of your way. It's a little bit heavier than what I'm used to dealing with, but I think if I play around with it, I'd like it. So I might give this one a test drive for a while just to get used to it and see what we're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then you've got Nota, which is a note application and text editor. You can come up here and do whatever you need to do up here. You could actually open scripts in here and make adjustments if you needed to. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then, of course, you have Firefox. And then you have system settings. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And you've got appearance, workspace behavior, window management, shortcuts, Startup shutdown, notifications, regional settings, accessibility, applications. So you pretty much have 
everything that you need in here to make all the regular adjustments you're used to making with your Linux distribution. That way you can customize it pretty much the exact way you want it. And you can look at about system. Let's go ahead and open that up. Right now we're running KDE Plasma 5.23.4. And of course it's got the NX desktop on top of that. Kernel version 5.15.11. Generic X11 is what you're running. And then it gives you the details on my hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of system settings. Come back down here. And you've got the NX Software Center. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, it's opened up. Let's go ahead and maximize it. Okay, it's maximized. As you can tell up here, you've got some popular application, which is KSNP, XNView, Krita App Image. And then down here, you've got different categories, programming, system tools, audio, office, video, internet, graphics, education, and games. And then down here, you've got Maui Apps, convergent applications for desktop and mobile computers made with the Maui Kit. And as you can see down here, it shows you these on mobile phones, on tablets. And like I said, I'm going to show you that shell here in a moment. And then you can come down here. You've got an anime game launcher, IPTV Nader. You've got different applications that you could look and download right there. What I'm going to do is go up here and do a search and see if we can get something like OBS Studio. And there it pops up. You can get OBS Screen Recorder, free open source software. So that would be pretty easy to download, put on your system, and then you'd be good to go. So let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. Back on the home page, that's pretty easy, pretty quick. You can do your searches, or you could come down here and go video. You could look for what you might be looking for down here. There's OBS right there. You've got Memento, you've got Webcamoid, Haruna, Avid Mux, and then Clip Grab. You've got a lot of different things there. I'm just going to tell you guys, this is a very impressive looking store. I like it. It's pretty snappy in a virtual machine. I need to work on my scroll speed because my mouse isn't scrolling the way I want. But you can come down. It's got quite a large selection of applications for you to download. And I'm going to go ahead and go back up. If you do download this, give it a test drive. Definitely take a look at the store. It's very impressive. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Now we're going to come back over here. And then you've got Arc, Buho, Clip, Communicator, Install Nitrix, Inkscape, Index, Heroic Games Launcher, it comes with GIMP out of the box, install itch.io game store, KCALC, it comes with LibreOffice out of the box, of course the NX Software Center we just looked at. Let's go ahead and look at NitroShare. Okay, this is where you can share from one to the other. I've seen that before. What really bothered me about this in the past is the language in the background. You can't really read it. If I recommended anything, I'd have them darken that up so we could actually read it. What I'm seeing here, it's a desktop application that makes it easy to transfer files. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Let's go ahead and pop back up here. Then you've got Station, Spectacle, Nota, Wave. I'm going to go ahead and open Station. And let's see if they have HTOP installed, which they do. It's running 1.2 gigabytes at rest. Of the 3 gigabytes I have issued to it, it's a middle upper weight, obviously, distribution. But still, it is a very beautiful distribution. I like the overall look and feel of it. I'm going to go ahead and close back out of this. And what is this up here that just... NitroShare is still open. So let's go ahead and exit that. Now, if you download this and want to give it a test drive and you want to take a look at the Maui shell, I'm getting ready to show you how to do that. All you got to do is come over here, open your app menu, go over here to where it says leave. Click on leave and log out. Okay, once it's logged out, it'll bring you back to the login screen. And once you're here, if you look up here, upper left, it says desktop session plasma. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go to cask. X11, click on it. Now remember guys, this is a developmental shell. So if you go in here and have some issues, it's expected. It's a work in progress, so just understand that. Once you have Cask X11 checked, come down here. It's going to have Nitrix on password. There is none, just hit enter. And when it opens up, you can tell you've got a whole new look. You've got more of a mobile look or more of a tablet look. Up here, you've got your notifications if you click on that. It shows you right here, you can clear your notifications, you can turn them on, you can turn them off. And then of course right here, you've got time and your calendar. So you have your date and time right there. Now if you come over to the right, if you open that up, you can shut down, restart or quit. And then it gives you your battery level. And then you have sound, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, mic, screenshot, brightness, and then settings. And then over here, you've got an arrow out. Let's go ahead and arrow that out. Let's see what else we have here. It just lets us see what we already had. And then you've got your headphones if you've got a player going on in the background. So we can close out of that. 
And then if you come down here, I believe this will give you your apps, which it does. It's got all applications, development, games. Then you've got graphics, system, your office. What I do want to see is if the software center works inside of here. NX Software Center. Let's open that up. Okay, so the Software Center will open up in the Maui shell, and you're getting kind of the same look you were getting a while ago. We can scroll. It is a little bit laggier in the Maui shell, but that's to be expected. It is in development, but I really like the overall look that they're going for. Even for a desktop, I like the look that they're going for. For the simple fact, you can just come down here and that opens up. It doesn't take up the full screen. Just gives you more space. I really like that. Let's go ahead and click on that. And everything is really aesthetically pleasing to look at. And it's really smooth. It could be quicker, obviously. I like the look that they're going with it. I think it's another great leap for Linux, especially with the Pine phones definitely kicking off the way they are. And just taking that death grip that Apple and Google have on the smartphone and tablet market and Kind of wrestle some of that away. I recommend you zip on over, download Nitrix, throw it on a USB, put it into a virtual machine, give it a test drive, and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you enjoy the channel and like the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.